And good evening, one and all, and welcome back to the Blue Rose Respite. You are lost, and now you are found, and you are all most welcome here. Thank you all so much for joining me tonight on my last stream for 2019. Um, not to get all weepy, but I just wanted to say thank you to all of you guys for welcoming me back to Twitch. Because I hated being on hiatus, I hated being away from you guys so much, but... It was wonderful to come back and 2019 even though it was a slightly late start it's been a hell of a year and i really look forward to bringing some interesting things to the table in 2020 that i think you're all going to enjoy <laughs> oh but last session we embarked on a whole new story on claire's side of the story and after some very very narrow escapes from with some very bad kitties and a very very disgruntled towering disappointed granite gray dad uh, we managed to make our way to the parking lot uh, we almost managed to escape but we weren't quite so lucky <laughs> Zeno Knox thank you so much for the subscription you're amazing thank you <laughs> It's really appreciated. Thank you so much. Oh, you're incredible. <laughs> Welcome to the Blue Rose Respite. <laughs> you people are so cool. I love you guys so much. Sorry, focus. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm going to try and play through as much of this game as possible uh, this evening. We probably won't be able to make it all the way to the end, but that's okay. We'll just keep going as long as we can and see how far we can get. As I've already played Leon's side of the story, hopefully it'll be a little bit smoother sailing than when I was playing as Leon. <laughs> also, just a gentle reminder, there is the secret upgrade skull still running, so any bit drops uh, that are dropped during my streams all go towards uh, some fun little behind the scenes updates that I'm planning for the Twitch channel in 2020. All right, wish me luck, guys. We got this, okay? <laughs> mm -hmm. mm. Also, last stream for the year, and there was one more beer in my fridge. It's like it was meant to be. <laughs> now, I just have to remember what the fuck I was doing. Oh, I hear, um, I hear those footsteps. I hear those footsteps, and I do not like those footsteps. Okay, uh, so I think we need one more electronic part. Oh, I don't like those footsteps. But we were trying to make our way to the records room to get what we needed. Ah, okay. All I have to do is loop up and around and we should be okay. But I think he's literally right outside, so... Shit, I forgot about the liquors. Fuck! Fucking fuck! Oh god, we're off to a great start. Just fucking peachy keen, guys. Yay. Inventory slot is free. Hey, there we go. Yay! Bad kitties. Oh, good, good, good. But I think he can get in here. Oh, good, a grenade. Cool, we've used up the key so we can get rid of that. Grenade. I know we've got that, um... Safe. Is there anything else in here? Okay, anything else in here? I don't think so. Except for that. Fuck 
fucking fuck. Move, Claire! Oh, that was way too fucking close again. <laughs> but off to the library we go. Just have to re-familiarise myself with my guns. Yes, that's right. We had to get to the clock tower to get the other part. I remember that. Damn it. Come on. Come on. I think I remember there was something back here. Yes. Good, good, good. I think he's literally just about to walk through that door. But that's fine. Can I not walk that last little distance? Fucking fuck. Okay. God damn it. God damn it, Claire! Oh, Tobias, um, the music that I play before the stream starts, it's, uh, a big playlist of, um, uh, public domain 1920s, uh, jazz music. Jazz and swing and a little bit of R&B as well. <laughs> I just find it's good kind of chilled out music that kind of fits uh, the mood of what I'm going for with my streams. Mercy, welcome to the Blue Rose Respite. So glad you could join us tonight. Okay, up to the clock tower. Oh, I think this is the first time we've been on this floor. What was on this floor again? Main hall. Oh, then that connects to the east storage room. Actually, we have a little bit of inventory space. I'm going to go back and get that blue herb. <laughs> Damn it, motherfucker! Wait, is he up on this floor with me? Fuck. God damn it. No, I don't. I do not like that sound. No, 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 no. <laughs> sneak, sneak, sneak. And what I remember... No, it's a little bit too far. Ooh, but there are flame rounds up here, so let's grab those. We have so many guns. And yep, we've already been in there. There was a... Oh, shit, I should grab that combat knife. Yeah, fuck it. I'm going to take a quick moment, grab that combat knife, and um, then also have a little look at this safe, because that combat knife is going to come in handy. And I've forgotten what... Me what what might be in the safe. Um. Do, do. do you guys enjoy puzzles like this uh, when you're playing games? Like action focus games? Or do you find them tedious? Like, I personally really enjoy them because I think they add a lot to the survival horror aspect. 
So long as they kind of make sense. Like, this makes sense in a police station that you'd have little personalised uh, saves. Yeah, there we go. Boo, boo, boo. Yes, good, good. And I think we're good for now. You just stay over there, buddy. Oh shit, forgot about that. Um, hmm. Oh, and it takes up two slots. Of course it does! But I think we're about to have an unexpected visitor. So I know that the office isn't far from here, so I'm just going to drop some stuff off quickly, make some space, and then we can grab that. Yep, we have a visitor. I hope he can't come in here. I really hope he can't. Uh, fucking fuck. I'm just going to store that for now because we're not going to go back down there anytime soon. And then I can always come and pick it up later. <laughs> okay. Who's feeling lucky today? I am! <laughs> Mr. X. <laughs> I agree, Shadow and Mac. Like, so long as it doesn't bring the game to a, like, a screeching halt. Um, oh, you gotta be fucking kidding me. I forgot to pick up the cog. I'm an idiot. Hi. Hey. Motherfucker. God damn it, I'm trying to swing past you. I'm such a fucking idiot. There we go. You're fine. Because we're going to have to get past this narrow hallway. <laughs> Don't worry, Anon. Like, I upload uh, each of uh, these streams to my YouTube channel uh, on Monday. So if you're not able to join me live, then you can watch it at your leisure. Where the fuck was it? There we are. There we go. And Claire got that grenade launcher because Santa was very generous this year. <laughs> I think he is hot on our heels, so we're going to keep moving as quickly as possible. Blah, 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 repair plan, blah, blah, blah. Take that out. And do we put this in here? 
No, it's the small gear that we get. God damn it. While a harpoon gun, gun would be cool, I think it might be a little bit too cumbersome given the situation. Also, then you have to carry around the individual harpoons, whereas ammo is a little bit easier to handle. I miss the harpoon gun in Bioshock, though. That was one of my favourite weapons that I got to use. Oops. Small gear. And then big gear goes here, I think. Yeah. There we go. Thank God that electronic part is durable. That worked. Anything else in this room? Nope. Now we have to head down to the parking garage again. Just remembering where this opens up to. And if there was anything down here. Oh, that's got to be cool, Anon. Having this on a widescreen. Boop. I hope I hope my voice is coming in loud and clear. <laughs> Freakzilla, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the Blur's Respite. So glad you could join us tonight. Okie dokie loki, we need to head downstairs. Um, hmm. I'm just checking if we had any other combinations, but we're still missing the dialogue for that. So I'm just trying to remember. Yep, we have to go back to the chief's office and then we can pick up some ammo again. Oh, it is this way. And head out through the parking lot. Stay down. <laughs> My squeals of terror in surround sound. That is an amazing idea. <laughs> Oh, that's awesome, Freakzilla. Honestly, it's such a great game. <laughs> Kimikun, thank you so much for the 2,000 bits. Holy shit. Thank you. Oh, you're amazing. Oh, it's really appreciated, man. Thank you. Oh, thank you so much, Kimmy. I love streaming so much. I can't wait until I'm able to do it full time one day. Hey, Silver Dust! Welcome back to the Blurus Respite! So glad you could join us! Can I mix that with anything yet? No, not yet.
Okay, one extra spot for essential items, healing stuff. that um hmm just because I don't think we're going to be going back there immediately I'm just going to keep the spare part safely in here because it's not that far from where the uh, dark room is so logistically we can go back to the dark room pick the key up and then when we're in the area we can go back to the storage locker <sighs> I, I doubt that my adorable squealing in terror would make for enjoyable ASMR video. Although I might be one of the first to try it. <laughs> I'm doing really well, Rose. Um, I was just getting my apartment all Christmassy, putting my Yuletide tree up and all that good stuff. So yeah. It's just been a very long week, so I'm a little tired, but I'm really glad uh, to be streaming with you guys. What was that herb? I thought there was a herb in here. Or am I being an idiot? I'm being an idiot. It's here in the corner. It's here in the corner. It's me, the spark of the light, losing my religion. Honestly, Shadow, I, if I was able to do this full time, it would probably be between three to four streams a week. And maybe then occasional Saturdays as well. Um, also, they would be a lot longer because I'd be able to stay up a lot later because I wouldn't have to get up at 6 a.m. in the morning. <laughs> um, uh, was it here? Fuck, I'm just trying to remember. Where was the... Where am I going again? Uh, it was for the card reader. Hmm. I'm going to go back to the firing range. While I'm familiarizing myself with this area, because, um... I'm a fucking idiot. I completely forgot that the electronic part is for his office. We just came from his office. I deeply apologize, guys. My brain is not switched on tonight. <laughs> we just came from there, so we're going to go to the firing range and pick up that roll of film. But yes, absolutely. If I'm able to do this full time, you can count on multiple streams each night. I'd also have more time to write more original uh, ASMR audios and all that good stuff. But yeah, in order to do that, I need to be able to... Sadly, it all does boil down to money. I need to be able to be earning enough uh, via Patreon or by other means. Patreon or regular donations and subscriptions. That I would be able to. God damn it. Um. Hmm. Hmm. I don't like this, but we're gonna have to get rid of this. Ugh. Gives me a little bit of immunity. So. Boop. But yes, one day, full time, fingers crossed. <laughs> there was just a red plant back there. I don't think we've got anything else. Oops. Um, hmm. So yes, let's go up to the chief's office because I'm an idiot. Again, I'm sorry, I'm a little bit tired tonight. Tobias, thank you so much for the subscription. Dude, thank you. <laughs> oh, you guys are amazing. Thank you so much, Tobias. Just a moment, guys. I'm 
Sorry, I thought for a second that um, my stream manager was glitching out on me and it was frozen for you guys, so never mind, we're all good. Okay, that's good to hear, Anon. Um, I'm trying to get into the habit of like half an hour before I'm going live, I uh, refresh my internet. Um, just turn it on and off again to make sure everything's got smooth sailing. Oh, come now, Shadow. You're not sacrifices. I treasure all of my followers, all of my lovely lost tales. There we go. Okay. I remember how, I mostly remember how this works. I remember it's mostly just a fuck ton of trial and error. <laughs> What am I missing? Okay, all the lights need to be connected. It's kind of a no-brainer. There we go. <laughs> I don't think we've won the lottery with that call. <laughs> Oh, really now? Oh. Where's that? Oh, In the no. Neighborhood, you'll find it. Sherry, all right? For now. I swear, you bastard, if you hurt her. Stupid kid. If you just hadn't dropped that fucking thing I could let you go. No. Don't worry, Sherry. It'll be all over soon. Well, that's not ominous as fuck. Mm. Has to be a way out of here. It's okay, Sherry. We got this. Oh, good. Oh, that's comforting. That's pleasant. Okay, anything else around here we can use? That looks promising, but let's see if there's anything else. Like this. I'm gonna need another block for this. I'm sure it's either hidden around here somewhere or it's tucked away somewhere. Hmm, can't really see it. So I don't think we can use that, but we're missing that last block. Yep, thought as much. Like, I personally don't view my um, <laughs> subscribers and followers as uh, sacrifices, but 
Lady Vlekthael might. <laughs> okay. So I can't see anything else in this room, so... Okay, examine this first. There we go. Okay, and then it's got to be the tops as well. Okay, we can do this. Okay. Oh, this one's tricky. Star and a triangle, so not that one. That one, and then we need a square and a triangle. Hmm. This might take me a hot second, guys. <laughs> cool cat, thank you so much for following. Welcome to the Blurrows Respite. So glad you could join us this evening. There we go. We did it. Cute little safety scissors. Sorry, Shadow. I'm um, Lady Vlekthael is the name of my um. What? Dark Eldar this? character. <laughs> and I love her so much. Okay. So we're going to have to be sneaky during this part. So I apologize if I'm a little bit quiet. When I have to be sneaky, of course, if you are quiet yourself, it makes you twice as sneaky. Imagine this is probably the orphanage where we currently are. This kind of has very orphanage kind of feels. <laughs> Got this, sweetie. me this is the part where I'm gonna fail the most okay side note I love it when you're playing a focus character that's a kid and everything else is so much bigger I don't know it's just one of those cool little mechanics that I love 
or just layout design, all that good stuff. Oh, I hear something rattling. I don't like that sound. It's creepy. Just trying to see if there's anything else I need to pick up. This is going to be one of those things where we have to look around every nook and cranny. It's alright, Anon. I don't mind the occasional hint. Otherwise, we would be stuck here for hours upon hours. <laughs> I think maybe though, if you want to keep a little bit more of the suspense, if I'm really stuck, if I'm really stuck, then I'll ask for guidance if that's alright, guys. And of course, we don't have the key, so we're Darn going. It. I need the key. We're going to try and find a key. Let's have a look, shall we? Also, because she can't really move around large objects or push a lot of stuff out of the way. So, that's a little tricky. Ooh, that kind of music. Oh no, it's him. That kind of music typically means murder is afoot. Especially sadistic kind of murder. Sherry. No. I told you to stay put. You need to learn to listen. Leave me alone. Just please. Time to teach some manners. Uh. Ah! Ah! You little bitch. You're gonna pay for this. Ah, oh shit. Well. You deserved it, asshole. I didn't even want to think about what he was going to be doing to that poor woman back there. You are going to be so fucking sorry. Go away! Help! Somebody, please! Oh, sweetie, I'm trying. You stupid bitch, that's a dead end. Trying to find a place to hide. Where the fuck is it? It's all over now. Doors locked. Where are you? Show yourself. I know you're in here. The longer it takes me to find you, the worse it's going to be. Mm. 
Wish me luck, guys. Okay, I might have gotten stuck in it to a dead end. Son of a bitch. Okay, I'm gonna stand this here. Is your last fucking chance. I'm just gonna stand here. Show yourself. That's right, just keep your distance, buddy. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Come on, Sherry, you got this. Okay, we've got no fucking time for this. Uh, I'll read that in a second. Um, once we're out of immediate danger. God damn it! <sighs> okay. Let's try it again, guys. I was just trying to think of where we could go, but I imagine we kind of backtrack through his... Strange, strange room. Mm. Sorry, that caught me off guard. I was taking a drink. Fuck is my key. Ah. Look, damn it. I see you. I was a little bit distracted. Get off my ass. I'm distracted by shiny things sometimes. And then that's locked. There we go. Okay, sweetie, let's just keep running, shall we? Yes! Hell yes! No, mm. Oh good. Oh good, oh good, oh good. Good to see you again, Claire. We've got unfinished business. What are you talking about? 
Don't waste my fucking time. Bring me the pendant or Sherry dies. Pendant? What do you need it for? Do you want the girl to die? Fine. Where are you? The orphanage. The orphanage? Where is that? In the neighborhood. You'll find it. Sherry, all right? For now. I swear, you bastard, if you hurt her. Are you serious? Damn it. Talking key. Just you wait, asshole. Hey, I think we did pretty good on that, guys. Considering I only died once. Or was trapped once. It'd be really fucking dark if he just straight up killed her. I'm really glad that's not the case. <laughs> There's already enough bad and awful things happening in this game, so... I think before we head out, we are going to take that key. We're going to go down to the um, locker room, grab that last thing, uh, develop that film, make sure there's nothing else that we're missing. I'm just going to keep that in there for now until we get down to the dark room. And yep. Yep. Let's just do our last checks of the police station, make sure we're fully stocked up before we go sauntering downwards. Okay, best way to get there would be... Um, hmm. Up, and then around, and then down, it looks like. I was taking a sip of my beer, okay? I got distracted. <laughs> Wasn't anything else up here? No. I am drinking a delicious acai, a Japanese beer that I really quite am fond of. <laughs> When it gets down to just going from point A to point B, I'm just occasionally doing the quick listen out in case, in case we hear daddy's heavy footfalls walking towards us, or more striding towards us with fervent disappointment. <laughs> High class lady, mm, that's up for debate. I like the finer things in life, but I will eat Doritos by the fistful and drink <laughs> really cheap beer if I can. But when I stream, I do like to present a certain element of class and sophistication for the most part. And I like to think you guys enjoy that. <laughs> okay, let's have a look. There we go. I was wondering when uh, we'd get that combination. Okay, so it was, whoop, missed that, third floor locker. D, 
DCM. And we can nip upstairs and unlock that as well. Sweet. Let's grab that extra key because I think one of the things that's still locked up is the extra pack, which gives us more inventory space. So that is an absolute must. And I'm trying to stay quiet because I know there's a kitty around here. And he does not want to play with me. Boop. Okay, so what ones were still missing? 102, 103, and then I think it was 203, 103, and 208. Oh, we missed a number of these. So let's just go with 103. And it was 102 as well. And two o three, and the other one, two o eight, was it? There we go. I think that's all four of them. Hey, good, good, good means we can carry more ammo. Another combat knife. And ooh, gunpowder. I think that's everything else. Don't think there's anything. Yep, got everything in here. Oh, fuck. Stay away. Stay away, kitty. Oof. We got away with that far too easily. <laughs> The answer to that, Shadow Fang, is I have really fast reflexes when it comes to certain things. Other times, I fucking suck. <laughs> okay, handgun ammo. Hmm. Standard grade gunpowder combined two of these to create handgun ammo. I wonder. Okay, that would make the 9mm. Which is, yes, the one we want. Perfect. And then we've got an extra two inventory slots for grabbing key items. And I think we're good. Combat knife in storage, should we need it? <laughs> Are you guys okay? Because that was a bit of a jump out of the blue. It scared me for a second too. Okay, rescue Sherry from the orphanage. Um, do we just literally walk through the front exit? No, wait, we've got the uh, key card. I'm an idiot. Uh, but you guys know I'm an idiot. And you love me nonetheless, so... Hey, it's all good. But I know there's a bad kitty outside. And while typically <laughs> we'd need... Something with water... To make sure this bad kitty behaves themselves. I think fire is going to do the job a little bit better. I can't see it. That makes me nervous. Oh fuck, we were going to go upstairs. God damn it. We're going to go upstairs to the third floor. Because we have that locker combination. <laughs> But 
but I'm going to keep that flame flame grenade out just in case a kitty decides to boop us. Okay, one of my kind of new favorite, like, let's put air quotes, trashier junk foods that I really quite like, um, DCM, is um, deep fried pickles with ranch. I only have it when I go to the States and I have it with beer and oh my god, I love it so much. <laughs> like, you know me, I'm a classy individual. I enjoy a filet mignon with a delicious uh, Cabernet Sauvignon. Not Cabernet Sauvignon. Is that right? Yes, a Cabernet Sauvignon. Because I was thinking, no wait, it's Cabernet, Cabernet Sauvignon Blanc. No. A or a Merlot. Cabernet Sauvignon or a Merlot. Um, preferably with a side of mashed potatoes and sautéed greens. But I will devour deep fried pickles with beer when I'm out with friends. <laughs> I hear a kitty. Yeah, kitty, kitty, kitty. Okay, I'm just going to do a quick check in case there was anything we missed. Um, Actually, I'm going to nip over to that bathroom and grab that spray because Lord knows that is probably going to save my ass in the final fight. For a second, this shape in the distance was a zombie. Ugh. Oh, hey, buddy. And we've already been through there. There we go. Because that spray, I know, it will save my ass. Because I'm getting a little bit too overconfident for my own good. And I will happily admit that I'm getting way too cocky for my own good. <laughs> um, just last check if there was anything that we missed. Um, like, this is still highlighted in red. I think there's still something back here. But I'm not sure. Would you guys be alright if we went all the way over to the second floor and did a last sweep just in case we missed something because if we're moving on to the next location we're not going to be able to search as thoroughly uh, hi Ooh, she sounds awesome, Tobias. Again, I'm so flattered that you created a D&D uh, &D archfey based off of me. Yay. Oh, perfect, Shadowfang. Shadowfang, thank you. It gives me an idea of what we're <laughs> running towards. But yes, I'm going to go after that because survival horror and health items go hand in hand. <laughs> Wait, am I on the wrong floor? Am I an idiot? Uh, how do we get through here again? That's right, we go through the lounge. Oh, that's awesome, Tobias. I hope their pact with me goes well for them. Well, mostly well. As well as a, pa a warlock pact can go.
just check if there was anything here. You're fine, Claire. You've got fairly grazed. Yes, 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 yes. That looks promising. Yep, that was the last thing in here. Okay. Now we're good to go. I might just put some things quickly away for safekeeping. What's the nearest place to do that, though? That would be the chief's office. So let's head over there, shall we? Best way to do that would be... Kind of up and over, it would seem. Interesting question, Tobias. Um, for the Countess, if she was an Archfey, I think she'd be one who would be wanting to amass more followers. So maybe something like if they come across um, an NPC who seems uh, hopeless or disappointed in perhaps a god that they worship that hasn't been as generous or as kind to them as they would have liked, Maybe then uh, the Countess can ask for the Warlock to guide them towards her. AJ Darkness, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the Blurrows Respite. So glad you could join us this evening. That's exactly what I'm going to do, James. I'm going to put um, some of the stuff that I've collected in storage for safekeeping for future... Something along the lines of that. She had, she had high, high ambitions. Very high ambitions. <laughs> also, it didn't pop up as an alert, but Mercy, thank you so much for the follow. So glad that you joined us and you want to stick around. I'm going to store both of those because I seem to get more just hit for damage and less with status effects. So I'm going to put that away for now. Um, yeah, I think something along those lines, like guide more like people without hope so that she can essentially have more servants for her castle and then her castle will grow bigger and she become more powerful and influential kind of within the nobility of the Fae. If, hypothetically, the Seraph of Stories was a Archfey patron, or even a Celestial patron, um, maybe something like, uh, maybe something similar to an Archfey where she would ask for the Blue Roses to be spread in the Material Plane. Not necessarily like they would be like hazardous or an infection but like her influence would start to infiltrate the material plane as well as like either the celestial or the fey wild boop, boop, boop. there we go oh fuck right when i'm taking a sip of my beer damn it You asshole! Okay, now it's open. I'm just gonna run. Come on, Claire, you got this. Yes, Tobias, exactly, exactly that. <laughs> Kimikun, thank you so much for the 200 bits! 
Holy shit, dude, thank you! Fuck. Where the fuck am I going? Shit. Looks like it's the other way. Oh, fuck me! God damn it! Figure out where the fuck I'm going though. I'm looking for the massive neon sign that says orphanage, abandoned e children. <laughs> uh, for now, I seem to be keeping a good pace, so I'm actually trying to look. Okay, that's promising. Damn it! And that's what we have this for. Looks like the only way forward. Yes. <laughs> okay, honest to God. Like, the whole Mr. X thing was heavily inspired by Monty Glue, okay? If we're talking about crushes on Mr. X, or weird fixations with Mr. X, I blame her. <laughs> Side note, I love Monty Glue, she's an amazing DM, I love the Unexpectables, and she's... Everyone in that group is so talented. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, puppy. I'm trying to put you down humanely, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I feel really fucking bad. But they take a good number of bullets to get down, so using a grenade is the fastest way and also to conserve ammo. Is this it? No. Sorry, puppy. I feel so shitty when I have to kill the dogs. I love dogs. I love dogs. I'm just gonna check something quickly. <laughs> That's what I was hoping for. Ammunition is always welcome. Oh, and our good friend Green Herb. Not good. Oh, shit. Oh. Is it not going through the fence right? I can do this. Oh. Damn it. Yeah, sorry about that, James. I was just trying to test if, um... I just had to refresh my stream manager just to make sure that everything was still 
going smoothly. Oh, damn it. Like, Claire's chapter has me all over on the feels meter. Like, you've got kids and killing puppies. Like, come on! Uh, I'm just trying to see if there's anything hidden around here I can use. So I continue to sing awkwardly <laughs> while my heart hurts. Anything along the windowsills here? Anything here I can use? No. Nope. Ah, oh, good old friend Herb. Oops. Oh goody, that's always useful. Are you coming in? Anything here I can grab? Oh, exactly, Kimikun. They're frolicking on the farm now. Uh. It's gotta be the orphanage. Oh. Okay, if that is not the creepiest fucking door for an orphanage I've ever seen, like, god damn it. Just checking. Oh god, that's so fucking creepy. And yes, I am gonna do the voice. The raccoon orphanage. Oh. <laughs> So fucking creepy. Hang on, Sherry. Oh, and it looks like it was once an old church. Of course it fucking was. Checking if there's anything on the tombstones, anything around here I can use. Oh. Oh no. Hello? I have the pendant! And hey, we can read this now, guys. Tom's diary. February 5th. It's been two months since I sent the letter to Oliver, and all I've gotten back is nada. Zip. Then again, they're all like that once they get adopted. But he's living like a king in some fancy folks' home and forgotten all about us. Really thought Oliver was different, that he'd be my friend for life. Guess I'm just a fool. Anne sat all the little kids down and told them a story today. She said all the kids that get adopted are turned into food for the boogeymen. That's why no one hears from them ever again. Not sure where she gets her ideas from, but she sure got the mind for writing trashy horror novels. February 13th. There's something weird going on around here, and it's not just because of Anne's stories. Don't get me wrong, I've been in worse places, and this place is funded by some big drug company. But why can't we call people or go outside? Why are there so many doctors around? What's with those shots every day? It's almost like we're... February 14th. I'm getting adopted. Me. Most people go for younger kids, so I figured I was too old. But I can't say I'm not a little happy. Who am I kidding? I'm totally psyched. I say goodbye to this place on the 20th. I'm going to try my best to be a good son. Someone my new mom and pop can be proud of. February 19th. Oliver came back in the middle of the night, all messed up, screaming help me and stuff. I didn't even recognise him at first. 
His face was all peeling and melted off. He's with the teachers and doctors now. It's just a skin thing, they say. He'll be better soon. And then we can go on with our ventures together again. Oh god, poor kid. Of course the fucked up pharmaceutical company was testing on kids. Okay. I know down there is where we're supposed to go, but I'm, I'm going to check upstairs just in case there is anything that was out of Sherry's reach that we can make use of. Sherry? Sherry, are you here? Fallout Kid, thank you so much for the host. I really appreciate it. There's that fucking rattling noise again. Uh. Anything useful around here? Ooh, like that, for example. Actually. Make some space. Hey, it's all good, Tobias. Have a wonderful night, an amazing weekend, and thank you so much for joining us. As this is my last stream for 2019, um, my return date is yet to be announced, but it will more than likely be within the first two weeks of January. I might not start the first week of January, just because I'll be flying back to the country then, and I need a little bit of time to adjust. So be sure to follow me on Twitter and keep uh, posted for when I uh, go live next. Have an awesome weekend. Take care. Letter from the director. Regarding the incident in question, I'm glad to report it has all been taken care of. On February 19th, test subject 628 escaped from the lab and broke into our facility. 628 was originally from this facility's candidate pool and apparently returning in the hope of seeking help. 628 was quickly detained by our staff. As 628 was undergoing one of the lab's clinical trials, there was a distinct possibility that he had brought the virus with him, so we disposed of all of our test subject candidates as a precaution. Oh, that poor kid. Oh. Mm. His speedy disposal was conducted by the security team, to whom I'd like to extend my thanks. As for our neighbours, we told them that due to the building's dilapidated state, we had, a temporar we had temporarily moved all the children to a different orphanage for their safety. As the future of this facility, once it, once it has been fully decontaminated, I plan to resume securing more test candidates. Yay. Fuck you, buddy. Yeah, I imagine this was the staff area for decontamination. Somewhat. can't really get through there. Was there any other way to get around? No. I can't see any other doors. So yeah, let's head down. Yes, just for clarification. Um, it's just the last stream of this year, just because I'm going uh, on vacation over Christmas. Um, I really need to recharge my batteries. <laughs> But yes, I will be returning for sure in 2020 for another year of consistent streaming this time. Hopefully no more long hiatuses. Oh, god damn it. Oh, please tell me I get to kill him. Oh. That's some straight up alien shit. Jesus Christ. Is that fucking thing still around here? I mean, it didn't go for my face. Okay. Just because he was a dick. Damn it, it doesn't affect his model. Shit. 
fine. I've got enough bullets, it was worth it. <laughs> oh good, a save point. That's ominous. <laughs> Blank's diary. If you're reading this, go call P Quillies. <laughs> Boogeyman's here, eating everybody. Many bark boogeyman's here. Help. They're coming. Help me, mommy. Mm. Are we gonna have to fight zombie kids? I will definitely fall out. I appreciate it. Oh, sweetie! Oh! Oh, you did not that deserve this fate. But then again, you're not a zombie, so blessings in disguise? Oh, I'm so sorry. Well, that's not ominous. Sherry, where are you? Claire, Sherry, oh, sweetie. Oh, Let's go. It's behind you. Don't stop. No. Hurry. Go away. I know she wants to get adopted, but not by you, asshole. Sure, come on. No. No, 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 no. Oh, fuck. Hi. it was. Daddy, no! <laughs> exactly, Sherry! Oh, God. Falling down an elevator shaft is literally one of my worst fears. <laughs> It's all right. Wake up. Wake up. It's all right, sweetie. It's just internal bleeding. I'm fine. Wake up. Open your eyes. Hold still. Not infected. What the? Sherry. Where's Sherry? Sherry's fine. Hello, you. Do you know Sherry? It's an impressive display of strength. What happened to her? We have to assess the situation. Who are you? I'm Claire. To the course of this. Excuse me. Where is she? Hello? What? Where's oh, she? Annette. Tell me, what happened to William? I don't know. Who's, who is that? The creature responsible for this. What? Can you help me find Sherry? Seems to be evolving much faster than expected. Where are you going? Look, I don't have time to play 20 questions. Everything's under control. I need to find is it Sherry. Is it daughter is not your concern. Yeah, I kind of saw that coming. <laughs> I swear to God, if Annette did rob you of all of your items when you get up, I'd be so fucking pissed. Where did Sherry go? Nothing else around here, as far Sherry's as I can see. Her daughter? Uh, 
Okay, anything we need to put away or take out? Um, I think we're good. I think we're good. Um, hmm. Gonna hold on to that just in case we come across red herb and then we can mix that in. And we've got a spot for key items. I think we're good. Ooh. Ooh. Are we gonna get a new toy? I like new toys. In which case, I might put... Oh, that's useful for liquors, though. Hmm. Hmm. I'm going to put this away. Because we already have this. And this, and this, and this. There we go. And now we have a spot for key items. Uh, actually, fuck. We don't have that gun yet. So I'm going to put this in storage. And then I'm going to take you out of storage. Just in case. Okay, good to know, Shadow. In that case, I'm going to keep it in storage until we find the new gun. Um, and, uh... Because I imagine that's going to be useful for the final fight. <laughs> Report about G. The G-Finest clinical trial will be entering its final phase very soon. Before G, the new creature, will surpass humans, is born. Allow me to predict a few things about its biology and biological functions. Intelligence. The subject's intelligence will begin to drop immediately, with their linguistic capabilities sorry, abilities are disappearing within a matter of days. Finally, they will lose their capacity to reason and their humanity. G will be a creature of pure instinct, driven only by a need to survive and reproduce. Physical abilities to it due to its unusually accelerated cell division evolution, it will be highly adaptable to any environment. Furthermore, with its amazing ability to repair itself through regeneration, it will be extremely difficult to completely kill it with any conventional swarm for firepower. Reproductive behavior. G's most remarkable feature will be its intense desire to reproduce. It will instinctively search out humans with DNA that closely matches its own and implant an embryo in them. Ugh. But the chances of success are very low, and if the DNA is not a close enough of a match, an underdeveloped G creature will be produced instead. I suppose the only ones who might be a close enough of a match should, would be any biological children of the subject, though. Hmm. Hey, King Before Kings! Welcome to the Blurrow's Respite! So glad you could join us tonight! Hmm. We seem to be back here... Quickly, if there's anything back here, doesn't look like it. Sherry, can you hear me? Do 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 do. Oh, good. I did not miss the sewers. I really didn't. Okay. I remember you. And we have blue herb there, but we don't have anything to really mix it with yet. Before Kings, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the Blue Rose Respite. So glad you could join us tonight. And I'm glad you decided to stick around for more of my shenanigans. <laughs> uh. 
Thankfully, we're armed to the teeth, so we're good. Yeah, we've pretty much done an entire sweep of the police station as well. Like, I can't think of anything else that we need to go back there for. Um, except for maybe one or two minor things. Like, I think we may have skipped past a blue herb that's tucked away somewhere. Motherfucker, I didn't even see you. God damn it. Yeah, they caught me in a bit of a panic. <laughs> oh my god, just fucking stay down! Okay, but like, that's hot. <laughs> Samuel, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the Blue Rose Respite. <laughs> Look, dude, just stay down there. <laughs> Copy of emails to Umbrella HQ. We already read through this with Leon. That's fine. Oh, we don't yet have the code for that. Just stay down there. Like, your arm's over here. Is that your arm? I don't know. Oh, goody. Is there anything else we kind of missed on? Because that dialogue was the only thing I could see. I'm just going to check if there was a switch or anything in here. Oh, here we go. That's what I was missing. you, Annette. Anything else we can take out? Oh, I got hit kind of badly. How's my health doing? Shit. There we go. And, hmm. I'm going to keep these in here because we have health item already. Yes. And just in case we come across two key items. And we already read through that. We don't have any videotapes, so that's fine. I'm just doing a last check of the area just to see if there's anything that we missed. Like 
doubt it. I can't see anything around here. I kind of see Clara as kind of like a protective older sister of Sherry. <laughs> Keeping an eye out for her. Must protect. And, oh, has Leon already come through here or not yet? Hmm. Unlocking the U area door. Okay, so we do need to find the plugs. Okay, I wasn't sure if it was the case of, oh, Leon's already unlocked this puzzle, but this seems to be... Sherry is our new Ada, so <laughs> let's start looking then, shall we? And we need combination to that at some point. Oh, he didn't jump up at us. That's refreshing. I still need to play some of the Persona games at some point. So many good games out there! Just don't have enough time. I try and fire in short bursts just to make sure I'm not wasting too much ammo. Oh, dude, just stay down. You're embarrassing yourself. Oh shit, you're right, Shadow. It's literally on the side of the safe. I forgot about that. <laughs> Oh, thank you so much for all our kids. I hope you have an amazing holiday as well. Or well, just enjoy the holidays in general. <laughs> and I'll definitely travel safe. And I will see you in the new year. Take care. Have a great weekend. So it was 2 that way. 12 that way. 8 that way. Seafox 688, thank you so much for following. Welcome to the Blue Rose Respite. Boop. Yes. Is it this one? Yeah. Oh, is that an upgrade for the pistol that we already have. I'm just going to take that over there since it's literally right across the bridge. Hey, it's all good, King Before Kings. Thank you so much for following tonight. I really hope you enjoyed it and we can't wait to see you again. Have a great weekend. There we go. 
Five, cop, uh, five shot capacity handgun, easy to handle and can fire high powered rounds in addition to 9mm ammo. Hmm. That is a very shiny gun. The thing is, I can only carry four. So, that handgun is dope as fuck. 26 shot. That's a six shot capacity. Single action handgun. But I, that one probably does more damage. I've already got enough bullets. As we don't have enough bullets for that one yet, let's put this one away in storage because we only currently have... Unless... No, we can't combine it. Combine all the guns! That solves everything. Um, once we find some more ammo for that particular gun, then we'll take it out and swap it out for one of the others. And I'll save it for the final confrontation. That'll be the investment gun, let's say. <laughs> And so it's just a three that we need to find. Yep, just three. So yeah, let's just uh, stick with the um, revolver and the guns that we already have. And then when it comes down to, let's say, towards the final stages of the final area, then we'll see how much ammo we've got for that gun and whether we can utilize it efficiently. Um, what was down around there? Let's go back down here. I'm over here, buddy. But I remember some of the fun things you can find in the water. They were not very nice to me. Oh, and I'm good. We've got more grenades. I'm going to need them. Make sure all the weapons are reloaded. Oh, Kimikun, just a heads up. Um, could you avoid posting links in the chat? That'd be much appreciated. Uh, 
and that was down that way, but we need the thing for that. Did he just fucking fall into the water and die? Ah, water zombies. I need a refresher course on what's down here, so let's have a look, shall we? Yeah, I learned something today as well, Shadow. Normal zombies, um, looks like they can't exactly swim. Good to know for future reference. So that's probably useful in an area like this where they're literally right next to the water. Not sure how useful it would be in other areas, but still, food for, food for thought there. Red herb. Ah, there we are. Boop. And, ooh, a note from Leon. Claire, you've made it this far. You're almost out of the city. I've got to take care of something before I leave. But I need to tell you something in case I don't make it. This was all Umbrella's doing. Let the people know. Leon. Aw, that's cute. ID wristband required for cable car entry. Yeah, figured as much. Anything useful down here? Delivery receipt. Oops. Yep, that's for the safe that we've already read about. Um, anything we can drop off quickly. I'm going to put that red herb away, um, just so then we've got a free inventory slot for when we find the plugs. I'm going to quickly take this out and combine it. There we go. Ooh. I was just checking if we had any other gunpowder. Nope. Let's go to the right first and clear out that way first. Oh, it's so gross. Squishy sounds. More squishy sounds. Secret tunnels. Anything useful? Hey. Oh shit. We do not have the gun for the particular kind of ammo. Where does this go up to again? Um, hmm. Oh 
Okay, guys. Advice time. Do I run back? Drop that shit off. Because we currently don't have any other slots for key items. No, actually, I'm going to equip this. Because I'll blow through the last of the ammo. Then I'll have a slot open. And who knows, we might be lucky and we might come across um, a crate where we can store items. Also, is it just me or do you find a lot more ammo when you're playing as Claire? Fuck, we don't have enough space. Ooh, perfect. Oh, it's a Christmas fucking miracle. See, guys, Santa is real. <laughs> okay, that just unlocks it from that side. What's on the other side of that door? Probably wasn't a good idea to use a fire-based weapon in an area with possible flammables, but thankfully that kind of physics isn't in this game, so there's that. <laughs> Ashley Blair, welcome to the Blue Rose Respite. How's it going? But yeah, I agree, Sam. I'm just going to quickly run back just because we're not even using that gun. I'm just going to quickly run it back, drop it off so I know it's safe. And when it come to, comes to survival horror, I always prefer to be safe over sorry, as best I can. I'm great. I'm really enjoying uh, tonight's stream. It's actually going to be the last one for this year. Um because I'll be going on vacation over Christmas. Um, but yeah, I'll be uh, doing my next stream in early 2020. And I'm going to store you. And I'm going to store you. And I think we're good. We good? We good. Actually, fuck it. I'm so paranoid about games like this, so I'm gonna save again. It's all good, Samwell. I'm a paranoid player when it comes to survival horror. I always prefer to just take a little bit longer, but then I know that the stuff I find is safe. And especially from what I hear, the final fight of this playthrough, I'm going to need all the ammo I can get my grubby little hands on. What the hell? Four fucking headshots in a row. I am good. What is up with you? Come on. God damn it. Of course. I am getting way too cocky for my own fucking good. God damn it! Oh, 
okay, I deserve that. I deserve that. I'm getting way too cocky for my own good. It is going to get me killed. Oh, and look at that. I've burned through almost all my ammo. I'm a fucking idiot. That is why we're saving the other ammo. You stay there. And we need the key for that. Oh good, combat knife. Hmm. Anything useful down here? Because I was curious, because uh, some people in the chat have already played this game, um, several playthroughs. So I'm interested if um, you are planning on uh, doing another run. What is it that intrigues you? Is it stuff that you think, oh, I didn't notice that the first time, or oh, I want to see if I can make it through the game faster, or achievement hunting? Just for funsies, awesome. Oh, Sea Fox, a no damage playthrough. That is incredibly ambitious, good sir, and I applaud you. And also, welcome to the Blurry's Respite. How's my health? Oh, my health's fine. Mostly fine. Okay, video cassette. I'll be looking at you later. Oh, and this is the point where um, Leon entered, I believe. Hey, we're doing really good, Ashley. We're all just chilling out on a Friday night. Okay, I need to get out of the fucking water. Or can they hopefully kill each other? Damn it. And here I was hoping for another Christmas miracle. So I need to see if there was anything I missed down here, or anything that could be used. Mother fucker! I might die. I have no extra health items. Claire. 
Come on, Claire! Oh, it's so fucking gross. Oh. Is it dead? Oh, thank God, there's ammo. Yay! <laughs> that has no more ammo. Oh, this has 15 bullets left. Great! Oh, fucking hell. That was way too close. Oh. Let's do a quick look around if there's anything down here we can salvage and then let's go up and heal up. And wasn't it like 20 minutes ago that I was saying, oh, you find so much ammo when you play Claire. Okay, guys, from this point onwards, it's going to be a silent stream where I'm going to learn to shut the fuck up because the karmic balance of the universe is apparently listening. <laughs> See anything else down here that's useful? Oh, Claire, honey, I'm so sorry. I feel bad when they get hurt. Ah. God damn it. I'm so sorry, Claire. Hey, a key. Nice. Oh, and look at all this inventory space we have. Who's salty? I'm not salty. I'm not going down there yet. Fuck no. It's all good, Shadow. Like, I would love to play uh, the Persona games, but honestly, it might have to wait for when I'm streaming full time and I'm able to do a full streaming setup where I can have my PlayStation emulated and all that good stuff. Okay, we're gonna go back up and we're gonna heal. And grab another health item just to be safe. No. Hey, it's okay, Claire. Got a box full of goodies for us. I'm... Oh, fuck. I want to save that for the final fight. Okay, I think we can survive with the ammo that we have now. Because that does a hell of a lot of damage. 
and we still have up here to explore so yeah let's just hold off on switching out for that for now i think we can make it but let's have a check of this videotape shall we Um, in response to your question, Samuel, um, I would definitely, I definitely would love to stream full time one day, or essentially do what I love full time one day. Um, actually, I'm gonna keep that in storage. I think I would definitely keep a balance between pre-recorded uh, videos like my narrations and ASMR tales and all that good stuff, and um, uh, doing a lot more Twitch streaming. Just because as a platform, Twitch has proven itself over the past few years to be much more uh, creator friendly, much more open minded, and also you earn more revenue, you earn more income from it. So as much as I like YouTube as a... I, I essentially see YouTube as like a platform just to put my videos up and to put my Twitch streams on archive. Um, I Just because it's such a fine line with YouTube and it's so unpredictable with what's in and what's out, what's like good content, what's bad content, what can and can't be monetized and all that malarkey um so yeah definitely in the future when i'm able to do this full time um i'll probably be keeping mostly the same level of updates that i do with the streams i'm with the videos i'm currently making but i'll be streaming a hell of a lot more also because i just enjoy it i love streaming i love it so much and also, it gives me that immediate connection with you guys. Like, I love my comment section on my YouTube videos, but there's always just a little bit of disconnect between you and I. But definitely, I would love to stream and create content full-time one day. And honestly, thanks to my amazing patrons and Twitch subscribers and every single person who follows, hosts, bit drops, every little bit of it goes towards commissioning new artists to do fun new art for my channel, um, uh, commissioning other things, uh, more, more creative content, all that good stuff. Yeah, Shadow, I'm not going to lie, the most recent kind of shenanigans, let's say, with YouTube that's been happening recently, it's made a lot of content creators very nervous. Like, it's not just you. Um, which is why I'm becoming way more emotionally invested in Twitch, and I enjoy it so much. Yeah. That's right, and then does that go back up to the mansion? I think it does. Rackin City Jazz Festival, Z uh, S Z F. Hang on. S Z F. Have to remember that. Just trying to remember where that would be. Oops. Wasn't there somewhere that had a locked area? It's like on the on the upper floors. 
Is it the control room? Yeah, that sounds like it. But we're going to have to find a way to get back up there. Okay, that's alright, we've made a note of it. And, correct me, that goes back up to the mansion, right? I'm just going to check quickly. Honestly, Shadow, like, even though it's frustrating, um, they are taking good steps in the direction when it comes to depicting violence in video game context as opposed to real world um, violence. So I think if you're a game streamer, because um, you, YouTube is aware that that is a massive um, uh, part of their user base. So they are taking measures to protect uh, some attributes of it. It's just that people in the horror community, it's a little stressful for us at the moment. Um, we're going to need that roll of film if we want to unlock some more secrets, but that's down in an area downstairs. So let's go back, unlock that other door and keep exploring, shall we? Oh, that's right, guys. I can't use hip kid language like yeah and cool. So I'm going to have to resort to just saying fuck. I hope you guys are fucking okay with that. <laughs> Anne, welcome to the Blurus Respite. So glad you could join us. Apologies if I mispronounced that. Ian? Ian. Is Ian right? <laughs> Um, I think the ASMR community, it's a very fine line. Um, most of, most people are fine. They're in the clear. It's all good for them. Um, I think so long as it's not too overt or heavily sexualized, you're in, you're in the green, you're fine. Like my stuff is like, you might get a little hot under the collar reading it or listening to it, I should say, but I haven't been hit with too many yellow, yellow dollar signs, if that makes sense. Ah, awesome. Thank you for the clarific clarification, Ian. <laughs> okay, what do we need the most? Uh, we need shiny ass handgun ammo. That's for the 9mm parallel. Bellum. Which we do actually need ammo for, so... We could use more grenade stuff though, hang on. Okay. But I think we're going to need more handgun ammo because we literally have no ammo for that at the moment, so... Let's combine these two. Actually... Don't we have a large one already in storage? Hang on. And we've already checked down there, so let's grab this. I agree, Sea Fox. Like, honestly, they just. See, even talking about it makes you tired after a while, because at the end of the day, you can just... What what can you do? Really? You just sigh, you throw your hands up like, well, I can sign a petition, I guess. And But other than that, like, it's a whole mess. But that's why I love Twitch so much. Like, I just have a more intimate connection with you guys. I get to respond to you in real time. And you get to watch me make an ass out of myself and fail at playing video games. Which, I would like to think, from the moderate success of my Twitch channel, you guys quite seem to enjoy. <laughs> mm. 
Yep, let's grab that film. Again, playing it safe. And then we can quickly do some crafting, make some more ammo, and then venture back out. Because for the area that we kind of are eventually heading towards, we're going to need a fuck ton of ammo. I don't think we've even looked down there yet. God, so much to explore. <laughs> well, thank you so much, Ian. I hope you didn't cut your game short or anything. But I'm so glad you were able to join us tonight. Okay. We need submachine gun ammo. We need handgun ammo. But we also need grenade launcher ammo. While that is a heavy hitter weapon, I think, honestly, we'd better utilize it by combining these two and then combine these two. Just because then we've got an even spread of ammo across the board. And then we can head back upstairs. See if there's anything we missed. And we can drop this part off. It's the rook. How did that go again? The rook's next to the knight, but not facing the queen. Okay, so where's the knight? Okay, this is where the rook goes. There we go. And quick save. Well, hopefully your campaign gets a bit better, Ian. Like, I love D&D so much, but it sucks if you're not fully invested in it. And trust me, I empathize with that. <laughs> and yeah, Sam, I really try to be as attentive as I can be to the chat. It's only when it's like a super stressful situation or I've died multiple times and I'm trying to stay alive as best I can that I get a little bit distracted. But yeah, thankfully the chat is like, at a good pace where I can keep up with all the new comments as best I can. Yeah, let's have a quick look down here because I don't think I've really looked down here yet. Serious step mode activate. <laughs> Oh, we're on this side now. Okay. Wait, isn't it up here and then there's like a combination lock? There might be some ammo hidden up here. Fingers crossed. It was SZF? Hey, there we go. Yes. Oh, goody goody gum drops. You stay right there, buddy.
So yeah, we're going to go quickly back up to the mansion where we can have a look at this uh, roll of film. Because, again, playing it safe, get as many items as we can, and then I think we don't need to go back to the police station at all. I keep calling it the mansion just because of the layout. It feels more like a mansion. Also, thankfully, Claire runs very fast, so we're able to move through things quite quickly. Also, Mr. X was sliced in two, so we don't have to worry about him for now. I agree, Ian. Like, wading through water in video games is always a bad sign, especially when it's in the sewers, and especially if it's murky. But then again, I think everyone in the chat has some level of fear of being in murky water where you can't see the bottom. Even if your feet can hit the bottom, you have no idea what's lurking in that murky soup with you. God. I thought for a second this was locked and my brain just kind of shut down like no hey buddy you just stay there I don't remember there was a kitty around here Keep walking. Just keep walking. Oh, that's right, those two hiding places. Yes, yes, yes. Um, that one was where it's kind of flooded. It's on the ground floor. I know where that one is. That one, I'm just trying to remember. Coffee cups and books. Was it in one of the offices? Chat, I already know where one of the things is, which is in the first floor, where like the speech room and there's like the American flag in there. If you could remind me of where the other room is, it would be much appreciated. Thalassophobia. Thank you so much, Shadow. That's the fear of murky water. Oh, Star's office. Thank you so much, Shadow. Appreciate it. Also, no, actually, I'm not going to say it. I'll say it at the end of the, ch of the game, if I remember. Because me and my big mouth are starting to get me in trouble a little bit. Stay right there, buddy. Ooh. Needle cartridge. Oh. Oh, that sounds promising. Okay, I'm going to say it because I don't think we're going to be going back that way anywhere, anyway, because I think that was the last of the film things you can develop. 
Um, all I was going to say is we've pushed our luck with that goddamn liquor so many times in that particular hallway just outside of where the locker room slash where the dark room is. We've pushed our luck so much in that one particular area that it's not even funny at this point. <laughs> And was it in this area? Yes, there we go. Oh. Oh, I like the look of that wooden box. Is there something in here for me? Nice. Oh. Hell yes. Ammo for the spark shot. Hmm. We don't have that weapon yet, I think. I think. Oh my god, guys, like, the the images that came out for the Resident Evil 3 remake, oh, holy shit, can we excited. So, absolutely, when that game comes up, um, is due to be coming out, it'll definitely be on the to-vote list for um, uh, the VIPs in the Discord. Because, hell to the mother flippin' yes. And I think I'm not half bad at these games. So I don't think we've got... Actually, is that for that gun? No. So yeah, I don't think we've got the gun for that yet. So let's just keep that safe. We still need more grenade ammo, though. Is there anything to save? Yes. <laughs> Back down we go. Mr. Neo Neil, welcome to the Blurious Respite. So glad you could join us tonight. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, I fucking lose my shit every time a mod comes out that replaces the big bad intimidating enemy with Thomas the motherfucking Trank Engine, okay? I still remember the first time I saw that Skyrim mod that pulled that shit. I. To say I lost it is an understatement. It just further goes to show how amazing the internet can be when your heart's in the right place. <laughs> Did anyone ask for it? No. Was there a need to be filled? Absolutely yes. Choo choo, motherfucker. Okay. So we need to go... Uh, where was it? It was like down, down, down. The bottom waterway, that's where we need to head to. Uh, but I don't wanna.
I agree, Neo. Like, some mods can just make everything absolutely fucking ridiculous and improve the game 200%. And then other ones are there from people who want to fix problems that maybe the game was rushed out a little too early and they weren't able to fix everything quite yet. Or there's a number of other factors, but I um, have to give huge credit to the people who make mods that uh, specifically are in place to fix problems with the game. Because a lot of the times, if not all the time, they just do it out of the love of the game. They're not paid to do it in any way, shape or form. Don't worry, Claire, we got this. We got this. Gross. Oh, Jesus. They're everywhere. I'm gonna go the other way. Can I go this way? Nope. Motherfucker. Oh, I hate this. I do have inventory space. I have four whole, whole slots of it. It's not getting out of my way. Come on. Let's see those pretty eyes, darling. There we go. Oh, I'm quite proud of that one. That didn't take as much ammo as I thought it would. Squishy sounds. Squishy sounds. Ammunition. Getting way too fucking close for my liking. Come on, Claire, let's get out of here. I learned a thing or two from playing through as Leon. First and foremost, there's one that comes out of the pipe. Secondly, it's... you can manage to sneak around them.
I want to get my fucking knife back. There we go. Quickly reload everything. How you doing health wise? Oh shit. Okay. I'm just gonna give have this just to patch up for now. Because we'll save the other for when we really need it. Red Hook. Oh, I remember this puzzle. I remember this puzzle. Just need to familiarize myself with the layout again. Grab the king piece, which I remember was up here. And that's why you don't go to work drunk. All right. Uh, excuse me. <gasps> Shiny new gun. Spark shot. This gun fires wide metal prongs into your target, allowing you to fry it with electricity for as long as you have the weapon raised and are holding right click and continue to stay focused on the target however if you let the gun send too much power over the wires the wires will snap after one final surge okay I can't remember how I've solved this. I think I need to get the queen piece.
god, he took two knives. Nice one. Get my other knife back. I think I put that there. Hmm. I fucked up. I fucked up somehow. Cause then that closes. Okay. What's the one I need for that one? The king piece. Hmm. Because I solved it last time. I'm just trying to remember how I did it. Hmm. That one. Hey, Shadow. <laughs> oh, that was so bad. I'm so proud of you. <laughs> no, that's a king piece. And then I grab the queen piece. And then I have both. Hey, there we go. Eventually we got it. Okay, time to quickly sort out guns. Um, hmm. We have seven charges with this one. So I'm going to... I'm going to assign that one to the fourth slot. Just because we don't have any ammo for that one at the moment. So, yeah. Yep, I think we've got all the parts now, so let's head back up. How's my health doing? Ah, oh, shit. Um. Okay, we've got enough stuff healing, and I kind of need to be at full health to get through what we need to get through, so... because we don't have a ton of ammo I'm trying to be smart and use the terrain as best I can oh 
that's so gross and squishy. Managed to kill it without it spewing its guts and all, all up in our faces. Yeah. Anything useful up here? Doubtful. Nah. Motherfucker. Pretty sure I've got a grenade. Oh, fuck, I didn't have anything. Oh, I'm good. I'm damn good. Took a little bit too much damage than I would have liked, but eh. Win some, lose some. Okay, let's head up and save Sherry. Uh, tch -tch. Oh my god, I have like no ammo. Fuck. Now I just have to remember where I'm going. <laughs> I think we might we might need to break out that other gun sooner rather than later. Wait, where the fuck am I going? Sorry, I just had a mental blank. I think I'm supposed to go back up this way. <laughs> Stairs heading up, that's a good sign. Yeah, I've just become weirdly disorientated. But we'll figure out where we're going soon. Okay, I think I know where I'm going. Okay, now I have an idea where we are. I think we might have taken the long way around, but that's okay. We're still making it back. I'm going to put you in storage and take you as you heal a little bit more. Um, hmm. Oh. And our good friend, Combat Knife. Any other folks? I'm saving this for the final boss. Like, we, we have uh, some machine ammo, so we're good for now.
Okay. I think this side was in the clear. How did it go again? The rook's next to the knight, but not facing the queen. The king ain't next to the queen, but facing the knight, right at the end. And the knight ain't where the case marking says. But that is where it's supposed to go. The rook's next to the knight, but not facing the queen. Okay. So that's the rook. So the queen is not there. She's there. And so the king would be here. No, that's not right. This is not my forte. Let's give it a minute, Claire. Figure this out. The rook's next to the knight, but not facing the queen. The king ain't next to the king but facing the knight. Right at the end. And the knight ain't where the case mark he says. So the knight is here. But he's supposed to be somewhere else? Okay. We'll figure this out. Give it a hot second. Because this one's torn away as well. So I think this one needs to be taken out too. So those two are the consistents. So let's start with the consistents. So the king is not next to the queen, but it is facing the knight. So the king goes here. Which is that one. Yep. And the rook is not facing the queen. So the queen is in one of these two slots. So the rook has to be here because it's the only one that's not facing one in the opposite direction. So Rook's next to the knight, but not facing the queen. Hang on. So, the queen has to be here, beside it then. And then the bishop's on the other side? I think... I think this is right! Damn it. Let's have another look. The rook's next to the knight. Sorry if this is a bit repetitious, guys. The rook's next to the knight, but not facing the queen. Okay, let's go one line at a time. The rook is next to the knight, but not facing the queen. It's the bishop, so it's not facing the queen. That, the last line throws me off, and the knight ain't where the case marking says. But it is there. It's marked as such. I'm going to follow Shadow's advice and swap the knight and the queen, otherwise we'd be here all day. Because, yeah, it looks like someone fucked up with the labels. And... Damn it. Because then any one of these can be the knight. Except for that one. That's the only consistent is uh, the pawn piece is right there. But the knight is, air quotes, right at the end. So it's either there or there. OK. 
Okay. Hang on. I'll figure this out. Okay. So that's the only consistent. The knight, as we know, is right on the end. So it has to be then in that position. Okay, I'm just going to take these out, do it again. Sorry if this is annoying, guys. I'm trying to figure this out as best I can. The rook is next to the knight, but not facing the queen. Okay, so the rook goes here. And it's not facing the queen. The king is next to the queen, but facing the knight. So the king goes here. And the queen goes over here. And the bishop goes in the middle. Yes! Oh, we did it, guys. We did it. <laughs> Alright, Sherry. On my way. And I'm just going to save it. And here is actually where I'm going to be wrapping things up. So, yeah, we're going to come save you, Sherry, but not for a few more weeks. Just hang in there, kiddo. So, yeah. <laughs> um, thank you all so, so much for joining me tonight. I'm honestly, I'm so touched by the turnout. Thank you all so much for joining me. I really hope that you enjoyed it. I love this game so much. I love streaming so much. If you're a first time uh, visitor of the Blue Rose Respite and you like what you've seen so far, then be sure to hit that follow button and hit for notifications as well for when I go live next. And be sure to follow me on Twitter at Steph Swanquills for future updates and especially for when I will be returning from vacation. More than likely, it won't be the first week of January because that's where I'm, when I'm flying back. It'll more than likely be the second Friday of January, but be sure to keep an eye on my social media, primarily um, Twitter, for when I do the announcement as to the next stream date, where we continue Claire's Tale of Terror. <laughs> um, if you like my content, if you like my sense of humour, then be sure to stick around on my Twitch channel. I have many, many, many fun plans for 2020. Um, many high ambitions for my channel and I want to thank all of you for joining me on this journey because yeah I love doing this I love hanging out with you guys I love streaming and I really hope to be able to do it full time one day and every time you guys show up to my strange little corner of the internet it takes me one step further towards achieving my goal so thank you all so much for joining me tonight if you like fantasy content if you like especially like horror content if you enjoy ASMR then be sure to check out my YouTube channel as well where I will still be doing weekly uploads over the holidays I have a couple of fun things in mind so be sure to keep an eye out for those as well so in the meantime every single one of you happy holidays if you're spending it with your family I hope that you have all the warmth and comfort and joy that you deserve if you're perhaps playing it low-key, that's more than fine to each their own. But I hope all of you have a wonderful set of holidays. And as always, be kind to yourselves. Be kind to each other. And as always, stay wicked and wonderful. Good night, guys. Mwah. <laughs>